If you thought that pig farming has only to do with pigs, think again. Have you ever heard of the hormone ECG? Hi, I'm Isa Arrieta, program manager of cats and dogs and equines at Eurogrow for Animals, and in my job I specialize in equine welfare. Horses are magnificent animals, loved by many and seen as companion animals. However, thousands of them unnecessarily suffer because of factory farming. The hormone ECG I mentioned above stands for equine chorionic gonadotropin. What a name, right? Do not worry too much about this unpronounceable name and please bear with me. This hormone is used in industrial animal breeding to increase the reproductive performance of farmed animals, cattle, sheep. But how does it work? In the case of pigs, this hormone synchronizes the sow's fertility cycles and increases the number of offspring produced per year. What does this mean? In the case of pigs, it extremely often means that the sow gives birth to more piglets that she can feed, all for the sake of enhanced productivity, only to serve economic interests. Do you want to know how this ECG hormone is obtained? I didn't know and it horrified me when I found out. Pregnant mares are confined in so-called blood farms and subject to repeated high volume blood collections in excess of five liters every week during a particular stage in their pregnancy. This is no easy procedure. Risk of injury, high levels of stress, lasting harm, animals are traumatized. Blood farms exist in Uruguay and Argentina, but also in Europe, specifically in Germany and Iceland. In March last year, alongside other animal protection organizations, we filed a complaint against Iceland to the European Free Trade Association Surveillance Authority concerning high volume blood extraction from pregnant mares. We claimed that these blood extractions had to be subject to stricter rules this is a procedure that falls under animal experimentation. What's more? Why cause so much unnecessary pain when there are alternatives? More than 5,000 pregnant mares are used on Icelandic blood farms each year. And undercover footage by Animal Welfare Foundation has revealed the brutal conditions and treatment these mares are subjected to. Our complaint was accepted and the EFTA Surveillance Authority requested Iceland to respond to our claims. Iceland has recently admitted breaching EU legislation on the protection of animals used for scientific purposes. These blood farms and all the unnecessary harm they cause have their days numbered. Please help us by signing this petition calling for a ban on blood farms in Iceland. We'll keep working towards making such a ban a reality worldwide. Stay in touch, visit our website, eurogrowforanimals.org.